Today is December the 28th, 2020. This is the Service Hero Show, 365 Days of Awesome. Celebrate success through service. My name is Tamara Hunter. I am your host, and this is the show that shares inspiring stories of those that are inspiring others. So let's do this. We are currently working to get our service hero onto the show. So here soon you will be meeting Emilio and hearing why it is that he truly is a service hero. Until then, let's say hello to everyone. Helene, our first ambassador of the chat. Good to see you here. And thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, he is having some internet issues. It happens. We all know that. And so let him know. Breathe. Everything is good. Everything is great. And uh, hello, you know, I love it when everybody starts to chat. You're going to be finding out more about why it is that we do that. Uh, Daniela here. Hello to everyone. Well, hello, Daniela. We're going to be bragging a bit about you, too. And we'll have to have you on for your own service hero honor. Because I know, I know a little bit about your stories. And I'm excited to share and hello andrea great to see you hashtag time to move and everybody start to visit you know while we're waiting um i actually was going to share this at more midstream however i want to share what it is that the service hero show supports and why we support it and so without further ado i am going to share a little bit about it now have you have you or someone you know ever heard these three words you have cancer or do you know someone that knows someone that's heard those three words my name is Tamara Hunter and I want to welcome you to chemo buddies for life we believe in healing through connections we are a 501c3 community of buddies known as cb4l.org we are a global family that believes in healing through connections within the buddies network we have heard from the world health organization that we can reduce the cancer burden between 30 to 50 percent by avoiding risk factors what would you do to change the way cancer is done well we here at cb4l.org are a community-based organization that is ran through the internet the service hero show is dedicated to support cb4l.org it is time for us to unite and actually, as a global family, be their locking arms to say that we can change the way cancer is done with information, education, a buddy, a friend, someone that you can relate to. In 2017, there was a journal article written to say that if you are isolated and alone, your odds of making it five years or longer have been decreased. It's time for us to unite. If someone hears, you have cancer, the very next thought they should have, you need a buddy. There is no reason to be facing cancer, isolated and alone, depressed and afraid. 2021 is the year. Join us. Join us as a volunteer. Join us as a buddy. Join us with donations. We are a volunteer organization that is serving all cancers, all stages, both the patient and those people that love and support them. We can change the way cancer is done. Life is so fragile and we're constantly reminded just how fragile life can be. 
especially when we or a loved one is told we have cancer. Cancer survivor myself, I can tell you, we still feel very alone in this journey. There's a study that's been shown that patients who are socially isolated have a worse prognosis, have a worse outcome than patients who are socially interconnected. Buddies for Life is a non-profit cancer support group for those whose life has been impacted by cancer. We'll match you with the perfect buddy. Humor, hope, heart, and hugs. Humor, hope, heart, hugs, and a whole lot of love. We're offering you a free membership. So please sign up today, share this with your friends and family, and support this community in every way you can. No one should face cancer alone. I am a chemo buddy for life. We are a buddies network. No one does cancer alone. Be a buddy. And we are all here for you as a community of love. We are chemo buddies for life. And if you've heard three words, you have cancer, for yourself or someone else, you belong with us at Chemo Buddies for Life. Healing through connections. So we're still working on internet connections. It happens as we all know so well. And Daniela, yes, I will look forward to it. We'll get you on the schedule. Everybody is saying hello to everyone because that's what we do here at the Service Hero Show and within the community that we are building for those that are affected by cancer. Kim O'Neill, thank you for joining us with the tour of, of love and for being a support of this show. Brad, grateful that you're here. We are live on the E360 TV platform. Very, very grateful to hear that too. All right. So, in fact, uh, I'm going to share right now because we do have supporters of our show and of the Tour of Love show. We appreciate each and every one of them. In fact, here is one now. Every day can be a new day, regardless of what's happening around you, when you know and fully embrace how amazing you have always been. Hi, my name is Kim O'Neill. I help heart-centered professionals who are amazing at what they do be able to confidently and authentically express that about themselves in interviews and everyday life. I support the Chemo Buddies for Life mission as they uplift and help each other in moving through and beyond cancer. It's a big world out there, and it's waiting just for you. Every day is a new day, and it's your time to rise and shine. Yes, rise and shine. Every day is a new day, and we want to thank Kim O'Neill Kim for her support on going in so many different ways. Read the message, Tamara. Okay. Uh, message. Okay. I, I'm getting code here, so I don't have. If it's a message, you need to let me know. If it's a message on, oh, it looks like, okay, we're going to have to reschedule. Amelia's internet, uh, internet has been, okay, it's off and on all day. You know, not a problem, not a problem. In fact, you know, we're going to wing it, guys. We are going to wing it. Every day is a new day. I agree with you 100%. So let's have some fun. That's exactly what I like to do, and you all know that. So uh, one of the things that we get to do at the end of every year, and this is un <laughs> a year very unlike many other years we've ever experienced. However, we are still at the, nearly the close of this year, December the 28th. And we're live right now. And we're together. And we can see this as the present, the gift of today. Today, we are being given a present, a gift for all of us here at the Service Hero Show. So I want to ask, and thank you for that, Helene. Thank you for being such a great ambassador of the chat and such a great example to us all. I would love to know 
something that and in fact i'm going to share some of the stuff that i had ready and i'll i'll prepare some other uh information for when emilio is on with us i want you guys to listen to this and then i want to continue the thought process buenos dias buenos dias good morning family and friends and as always my beloved veterans it's Emilio roman coming to you on this blessed sunday from the Atlantic City Boardwalk. Look at this. Look at this. Yes, it's a little chilly, but it's so cool. Good morning, good morning. I see some people that are up like me. All right, I wanted to share this with you. I'm sharing with you my favorite word going into 2021 that I learned during our Spiritual Fitness Summit. Hey everyone, sorry. Got up early, been doing some work out here at the office. <laughs> you guys know I'm always, uh, I show you this, this is the office. Look at this, look at this view. Look at this view. So, 2021, right around the corner, right around the corner. And if you've been following us uh, today, I will do something around noon. So at noon, o'clock uh my wife and i are going to talk about gratitude and so you're welcome to jump on and just share what you're most grateful for right i mean one thing many things but just just one thing una cosa una cosa que está agradecido right so one thing that you're most grateful for uh and we'll we'll you write it down and we'll go ahead and jump on the conversation so very important why gratitude well one of the most brilliant minds I've, that has ever lived, you've heard of his name, Albert Einstein, was known as practicing gratitude over a hundred times a day. Think about that now, hundred times a day. Why would he do that? Why? Well, he understood about quantum physics. He understood about the science stuff that I, I couldn't even wrap my head around. Maybe you can. Well, he recognized that being grateful was one of the highest vibrational forces like and for, for known to man like we need to be grateful and he talked about how the inventions and a lot of the patents and stuff that you and i enjoy today was based off of the efforts and he as he called it he, he stood on the shoulders of giants so all that he got and he put forth was because of his gratitude for the people that went before him interesting right so there's people who've laid the groundwork for you for where you're at today uh, for your success if you graduated from college if you graduated from high school you, even for me i graduated from high school was a big thing because i was told i wasn't even going to go um i wasn't going to graduate middle school yet alone high school yet alone uh ended up with a degree in health and exercise science so there was a lot of people in my path a lot of priests a lot of nuns uh, a lot of family members that poured into me so gratitude gratitude is just one of those things that i've noticed not many people seem to understand the impact and the power oh yeah hey thank you very much mm -hmm. yeah somebody get yeah, okay hey thanks a lot for that mm -hmm. but are you being grateful for the bills that you pay right when you make that car note are you grateful for that why is that even important right why is that even important when you pay your rent it's like oh shit, man i gotta make this rent i gotta make the mortgage there's a lot of power in that uh more than most people recognize and it took me uh years to really quite understand all of it uh, but it's made all the difference for me so the lesson or the by my favorite word going into uh 2021 i learned this from lori grant uh at our summit and it's called blessings right think about that blessings so whatever that challenge whatever that circumstance is for you can you walk away with the blessing and the lesson that is part of every situation whether it be a, a breakup whether uh, it be you lost a pet you lost your mom you lost your, i mean there, there's there's a lesson in everything there's a lesson and a blessing in everything all right there's people who for example lost their their, uh, their job after 20 30 years to come to find out that they turned that experience into a business and now that business is impacting and influencing and earning them a nice income after so many years of working for someone else being told how to walk how to talk 
See, that person, I may be speaking to you right now, they found the blessing and they're like, wow, yeah, it sucked to get fired, but they took that experience and parlayed it into a freaking thriving business. It's happening every day. COVID-19, pandemic, pandemic, whatever the hell you want to call it, doesn't really matter. But what is the blessing in all of this? What is the blessing in all of this? I, I love that. And I love the blessing meets lesson. So thank you, Emilio. And for those that you, of you that may be joining us right now, Emilio Ramon, who is our service hero that was scheduled today, he is having internet issues. It happens, we all know it. And so we are going to have to reschedule his show to have him honored. And we'll do something really special. Maybe change it up a little bit from what I had planned. You know, all of these things always end up working for the reasons that they're supposed to. Right, Joy? Love you. Love you. So let's do this. I would love to do this, taken from what Emilio just shared right now. Here we go. Did you miss it? Let's do it again. It says, what are you grateful for now? What are you grateful for now? You can share it in the comments. However, you, you know, I think that's a great question. And thank you, Emilio, for it. Because right now, we can be singing our sad song, possibly, about this year. Many of us have had many things that that were unexpected that have happened. There have been people that we have been close to that have gotten sick. There have been people that got sick and didn't make it. There have been people that have been separated from loved ones. There have been those that have lost their jobs. There have been so many lessons as he was talking about the blessing and then the lesson. And I thought how how perfect of, of a message to be shared for right now. And I would like for us to be able to think about that. Thank you, Carol Brown Berzins, our uh, uh, production assistant and senior ambassador for CB4L.org. So grateful for everything you do for all of us. Plus, you have so many other responsibilities. That's how I'm feeling right now. I lost my job, but I'm taking that into building a thriving business. I was blessed. Thank you, Andrea, for sharing this. Huge, huge, right? Huge. Would you have ever left your job? to create the business, the thriving business that you are creating right now. I am blessing that I know of its love to share with others. The blessing I know of love to share with others. I love that, love it. Sorry to hear, Andrea, we are here for you. And yes, to cheer you on and to say way to go and way to turn life into a win because life happens. That is the reality of it, guys. When my kids were young, we had plenty of challenges uh, of which I wrote some, some of it in this book here, Mastering Our Mountains and plenty more, plenty more. And I couldn't sugarcoat it. I really couldn't. They needed to learn to deal with life. Yet kids, right? So how do you do it? You do it in what many now say in an authentic way, in an intentional way. Yet you need to be aware of what age is the child? What information do they need to know right now to help them navigate? And what is too much information? When is it 
too much for us to be sharing because maybe it will serve our need rather than theirs. And we have to be thinking about that. What is the greater good in all of it? And um, it's all good. Everything happens for reasons. Yes, everything does happen for a reason. So very true. Like right now, Emilio, uh, this is his Service Hero show scheduled. However, not to be, right? For some reason, and this has happened many times, whenever this has happened, there is something else that most likely is going to be shared that would not have been shared the way that the show was prepared. So I trust it completely 100%. This also gives us an opportunity to visit right now. And please hashtag live, hashtag replay. I am going to go with some of the stuff that I have loaded right now. And that is we, we, let me reframe. The Service Hero Show was started nearly it's going to be four years here soon uh, that will be on the fourth season here soon. So we have nearly completed three seasons of the show and a lot of shows, not a traditional TV season at all. Uh, because the very first I was challenged to do 365 days of awesome, which yeah, was every day. So, um, There have been so many people that have been honored. We have used this show, the Service Hero Show, has also used it to share a Service Hero story or possibly a Service Hero concept. So let's shift right now into a Service Hero concept. The video that I shared at the beginning of the show I really uh, I felt inspired to share and to create that video and so that people understand that we actually have a say and we can band together. We can, we can lock our arms together to change one of the greatest health threats there is out there and that is cancer. And we are doing it. We are doing it through this organization that you see screening, uh, going across the screen at the bottom, cb4l.org. We really are. And I would love to know a service hero concept. Are you ready to join making a difference when it comes to taking on cancer. It's time. I, in the video, I said 2021 is the year. It is. This is the year that we are going to truly make the stand and take out the education, take out the buddies, take it out what we've been doing for 2020. I am proud of our teams. I am proud of what it is that we're doing. And we've got Raven, MJ's Raven, Crystal, love you. As we're starting to close down 2020, I want to say thank you for all of those that have taken on the mission as the Service Hero Show has, has, as, uh, has also the Tour of Love Show has too. And thank you, Helene. I appreciate that. Thank you. Hashtag time to move. Time to dance. Uh oh, I love it. You changed it up a bit. Hashtag time to dance. Yes, it is time to dance. And it's time for us to let the world know that we are here. And what we have been doing is exactly what the video talked about and how if you read what the World Health Organization and, and other large government institutional type world institutions that are saying we can reduce the threat, the cancer threat with education, 
with banding together, with having programs that people can reach. And we have it. We have it. That's the thing. We need the world to know. And obviously, there must be people that need this message right now. And that's probably why it is that Emilio's internet is not working. Because his show is completely loaded and ready to go. Yet, I believe most likely there is a message that needs to be taken out to people that need to know that we are here. And yes, I am the president and co-founder of CB4L.org. And the service hero concept that I would like for us to be sharing out today is empowerment. We can empower the world to change the way cancer is done if we do it together. We need to take charge and we are and volunteers unite all of our volunteers we are we are going full-fledged into 2021 and i want to say cameron glad you're here love is love and that is all we need right now i love that yes thank you for sharing that and i'd love to know yes what are you grateful for what is it that you are taking into 2021 with you? We're going to be talking a lot about that the next few days. What is your intention for 2021? And hello, Carl Wilson. You're so good to us and our programs and, and to me personally with all the recognition that you continue to honor me with. I want to say it is very appreciated. Carl Wilson, for those that may not know, is the founder and CEO of All Women Rock and their whole umbrella of so many programs. Check it out. Uh, it is time to dance. I agree. It is time to dance, Cameron. And time to live. Hashtag time to live. Empowerment. Time to live. Now, when we're talking about the empowerment well thank you very much i appreciate that very much cameron i do that oh my goodness love you one of our he matt has been there since nearly the beginning thank you matt for sh showing up and i so happy you are here with us to share the mission the mission that you started to help with a long ago he has been there since nearly the beginning matt has for cb for l.org and 2021 matt get ready hold on hold on we're in for a major major difference that we're making the service hero concept empowerment now I want you to think about empowerment for this organization. Yes, but empowerment for yourself. Gratefulness, the blessing and the lesson of life. What are those? And then to follow through, you come up with your intention. What is it that is your intention for 2021? And then what are you going to do about it? You got to follow through. You got to follow through. And, and being a mom, and now a Nana, you know, yeah, I am proud of it. I, most of the time that my kids were being raised, was pretty much a single mom. And so that's mom and dad. So you, you have both sides. So you know you you think about okay the warm fuzzy loving part of it and then what are you gonna do about it let's come up with a plan let's get it done and that is a big part of of making something happen hashtag time to have fun you know i agree with you too because you know one thing i will say about our program at cb4l.org which the service hero show 
started because of that group to support the buddies. And for those that are showing up right now, I'm going to be letting you all know that, yes, this is the Service Hero Show. And today we were going to honor and tell the inspiring story of how Emilio Ramon is inspiring others. However, he is having technical difficulties with the Internet. And it happens. And whenever that happens, there's reason for it. I always believe. So time to have fun. Hashtag time to have fun i i'm going to share a couple of videos and it shares about us having fun last year we did the telethon or the giveathon and we called it the giveathon for chemo buddies for life and this was the opening act for that show. I want you to watch that. And then we're going to talk about this year because we're going into a new year. And I want to show what the possibilities truly are for each and every one of us and kind of doing a time capsule. And music is on a wonderful time machine. We know that there will be a time that no one has to ever hear you have cancer and then feel afraid, isolated, and alone. When I was going through chemo, I felt as if nobody understood what I was going through. We all need a buddy, and people that have cancer need a buddy more than ever. We're kicking cancer to the curb, and we're doing it through Chemo Buddies for life. Hold me like the River Jordan, and I will then say to thee, you are my friend, carry me like you are my heart, love me like a mother, will you be there? Thank you for being here with us and supporting Chemo Buddies for Life. This 36 hours is going to be entertaining. I love everybody participating. Thank you for supporting and enjoy the entertainment and the heart that went into preparing this event. So I want to encourage you guys to please either be a buddy or even donate because every time you donate, it's somebody else getting support through this entire thing. Hear me, tell me will you hold me? When wrong will you scold me? When lost will you find me? But they told me I'll never be faithful and what we're not able and fight to the end, but I'm not the human. I have lost an aunt, I've lost uncles, I've lost my grandparents, and I lost my wife to cancer. And I know how difficult it is to be in a situation to hear those words, you have cancer. So if you know anyone who's going through this, if you know that they're going through a hard time and you can't be there for them every single second of the day, Chemo Buddies for Life is there for you. Everyone taking control of me, since that the world's got a role for me, I'm so confused when you show to me, you'll be there for me, give it up to me. I just want to cry because most of us think that we're alone. And you know, that was a huge breakthrough and just insight of, you know what, a lot of people know what it's like. And it's, it's fantastic the two of you have been able to formulate this, this pair, and I'm hoping that others will, will kind of take your lead and see the, the benefit of, of pairing up. I am so impressed how this lady took something, cancer of all things, and she turned it into a positive. She found a chemo buddy. During her experience, she was able to find support that way. And now she's passionate about bringing that to others. So please, I know that you know somebody that's struggling with cancer. They shouldn't have to feel like they're going through it alone. One thing that I think is so great about Chemo Buddies is the community. And through that community, you truly get a lot of support. It gives hope and healing and a place for people that are going through chemo and cancer to have a support system and I'm so thankful for it. Chemo Buddies for Life has brought 
such opportunities for me to remember my best friend and all the people I've walked the journey with. Encouraging support, Hammer Hunter, Chemo Buddies for Life. And so I'm doing my part to pay it forward and be a part here and help them raise funds. So donate now and help us to be able to achieve a great thing, and that is make a difference in somebody's life. Chemo Buddies for Life means to me unity, strength in numbers, a family to support, grow, love, and be there. So will you be there? I'm going to have to change that. We've now had our third annual event. So we've already got our graphics ready for the fourth annual event. Huge, huge. Um, as a single mom, my biggest accomplishment has been raising two amazing kids. Hats off to you. Well done. And in fact, yes. Okay. You get a hand for that one. I love it. I love it. And, oh my goodness, Erin. Erin is here with us. Hello, beautiful people. And just to let everybody know, yes, we today, uh, I am saying it throughout the whole show, because some of you may be expecting to see Emilio Ramon today as the service hero being honored. He is having internet issues. It happens. So obviously, he will be rescheduled and when we reschedule there will be a reason why it always happens that way my goal is to get my book done i'm absolutely in you know here to support you in that doing it alone is hard but i hated working uh uh but hated work is amazing uh i'm not quite sure what you're saying there we but your, your work is amazing now, what you're doing, I'm sure. And Waldo, okay, some of the fun that we have in our close group, he is your favorite. I love him. I love him. I always have. I'm so glad that we finally we're getting ready to have him on. We've been working on it for a while. There's a reason for it. There always is. Skip number two. Okay, yeah. I agree. I agree. Um, time to hashtag time to move. And... <laughs> You're funny. Um, Waldo, you are so much fun. Yes, she is. Uh, hashtag healing through connections. Thank you, Andrea. Yes, we are. And all who are going through cancer are any uh, or anything like it. Yeah, welcome to the buddies. Yes, so we want you all to know nobody should go through cancer alone. No, they shouldn't. And they don't have to any longer. We are all here together in the word and in the world. I'm going to put two. Where do we meet? We right now we meet again every single day, every day, every day, every day. And right now we are we've gotten the closed group back up and going here on Facebook here though soon we will get our website as a meeting place also however for right now if you want to come and be a part of the chemo buddies for life the cb4l.org community please join us here on Facebook uh, I know that this show is streaming out everywhere. However, go to Facebook, then go to Chemo Buddies, the number four life. Very important. Chemo Buddies, the number four life. Go to groups, then look for the Chemo Buddies for life community. You're going to see some of the groovy tour of love imagery. So you'll know you're in the right place. Ask to join. Ask to join. And we gather together for a chat every five o'clock in the evening Pacific, eight o'clock in the evening Eastern, and work it out wherever you are in the world. Because, yes, we do have people come into the group from all over the world because we are an international community. Do you <laughs> cute, cute, cute. Do you have... Aaron now is missing a purple pen. I love it. 
Waldo, we cannot see it. Okay, well, there you go. All right, so the time machine that I promised. We, we had last year the 2019 opening number that I just shared. Amazing volunteers shared their thoughts, welcoming people to the event that we had prepared for them. And coming out of that event, we did create the closed group. This is important, guys. Very important. And in that closed group, we had fun. We had a lot of laughs. We call it humor, hope, heart, hugs, and a whole lot of love. However, we had experts come in teaching us about how to get rid of toxins. Cheryl Meyer, it feels good to feel good. Dr. Jill Briska, uh, an energy, she is a doctor, an actual doctor of chiropractic care that has studied out of Australia. And she was helping us to understand energy and healing and certain things that we need to be aware of. Like, do you know that our water is a living, loving water? Do you understand that what we can do in writing love notes to our water? Yeah, I do. And our group does because we learned about it. We learned about the intention of our words. We learn what it is to have what Reiki is, what, what, you know, how to make good choices when it comes to our eating habits. And also as COVID hit, our vice president of the organization, Misty Lane, a frontline worker working with PET scans and other radiology, big, huge equipment. She brought in incredible sources of information and knowledge for us to navigate COVID as a community that was considered at risk going through possible cancer and treatment through COVID. And we were there to educate and teach so much more. And when you look at what these big organizations are now sharing about the projections into 2030 and 2040 and reduce, reducing the cancer risk and, and the impact by 30 to 50% with the information and the education we have been sharing coming out of last year's event. Guys, we are poised to truly make a difference in the world now, in the world. So very excited about it. Now I'm going to share um, another video. Now this is going to be only a portion of it because I want to be able to wrap this all up. From last year to this year, we had an opening act again. And this year we wrote the song for it. I want to thank Julie Christopher Juju. I want to thank Crystal Richardson. Thank you. And I was one of the co-writers of the song and we had amazing people join together to perform for this for you. So here you go. Listen to the words because that's going to be significant as we start to close this show up today.
we are the ones to change the world with our hearts. We are stronger together. Together, we are stronger. We are one. We are love. We are hope. We are the ones to change the world with our hearts. This is what it's about going into 2021, guys, at least for myself, because I'll tell you this, that, and I'm loving this, <laughs> rainbows and unicorns, unicorns and rainbows. Love it, love it, love it. And um, so many incredible people contributed. Yes. Thank you, Aaron, for sharing. And yes, confirming that what we are doing, what we are doing as a community, a family, a world family to take on cancer, the second leading cause of death throughout the world. And we can change it. It is in writing. Go out there. Look it up yourself. 30 to 50 percent by what we have been doing over this last year. 30 to 50 percent. It's huge. When you look at what it is, Annie, love you, service hero that you are. Welcome, welcome. And with everything that's happening out there in the world, we have something that when you look at that opening number from the last two years, the time machine that we just took, you see that we have fun too. Those are our people. Our people were involved in creating those two opening acts. Thank you for being here and being a part of Chemo Buddies for Life community. We all appreciate you all. You do to help in every way. Sincerely, the community. Thank you, Helene, for that. Absolutely. And yes, humor is a big part of it. Have you had your daily dose of humor today? We get there by impacting the world. So as we are starting to say goodbye to 2020, and as we are welcoming in 2021, what is your intention? What is your intention for your life? And the service hero word or concept today that I am sharing is empower, empowerment. Because as we are grateful and as we recognize and as we learn as as I shared earlier, because Emilio Ramon was supposed to be the service hero today. He had internet issues. It happens. So we are here sharing. Not an accident. Divine. That's my belief. So he, I did share one of his clips that I prepared. And that was he talked about what his summit was that he just had and how the blessings and the lessons that life gives us can be those blessings. I love that. Blessings. And he gave credit to who it is that shared on his summit. What is it that you've learned from your life lessons that are our gift of today, the present? The present is a gift today. So what is it that you're learning and what do you want to have for your intention going in to 2021? And then how are you going to empower yourself to make a difference with it? Because action, you do need to take action. You do. Okay. Um, Aaron, I love the love. Loving the love and loving the love, Cameron. Thank you. Carol Brown, hello. I love the chat. So I want to invite you all that feel that CB4L.org would be an organization and a family, a movement that you could get behind, that you could join, that you could lock arms with us because we are 
we are the ones that are going to change the world with our hearts. With our hearts. We are the ones that are going to change the world with our hearts. And yes, we are stronger together. We are stronger. Humor, hope, heart, hugs, and a whole lot of love. We are the ones. We are love. We are hope. We are the ones to change the world with our hearts. This moment and finding joy in this moment, moment to moment. Well said, well said. Excellent. Merry Christmas and happy early birthday to you, Carol. Brown Berezins. Awesome, awesome. So excited. So excited. So as, as we start to close the year 2020, the Service Hero Show, I want to personally thank E360 TV and Aaron Himes for bringing us on to his amazing network, being a part of the positive vibration channel. We're very proud of that, that we can be sharing in our third season, the inspiring stories of those that are inspiring others, service heroes, and also taking out service hero concepts to be able to go forward in our lives and love it love it love it thank you cameron also the service hero show would like to be able to recognize the many i think now i i need to go <laughs> and look at it i think we're close to 600 service heroes that we've either recognized or service hero concepts uh so and if anybody wants to watch any of the past shows Nearly all of them are loaded into the YouTube channel. Nearly all of them. Please do support it. And if you haven't subscribed to it yet, please do. It is uh, Tamara L. Hunter Service Hero Show or the Service Hero Show, I think. Just go on to YouTube and type in and you'll find it. They did have a special link and, and I don't know why that's no longer working. So everyone have a blessed day and week and happy new year 2021 for those that want to be a part of a party a virtual party we did it last year actually and we are doing it again this year and i will be announcing on wednesday and friday on the show the details of our new year's eve virtual party we did it last year so this will be our second annual virtual party bringing in the new year and again we have fun plus we have a lot of really great content that we shared through the tour of love show or the 36 hour event that will be a part of the party so if you guys want to be invited to a really happening party please know that we will be cb4l.org chemo buddies for life chemo buddies the number four life will be having a new year's eve party so plan on it you've been given an invite be a part of the party to bring in the new year all right i want to thank everyone awesome we have our first RSVP. You should win a prize for that, Helene. Okay, there you go. I'll figure it out. I love it. All right. We will be back. The Service Hero Show will be back on Wednesday, noon Pacific, 3 o'clock in the afternoon, Eastern, and again on Friday, which is New Year's Eve. So we will be getting together on New Year's Eve for fun. And we'll start it at the Service Hero Show and continue it over with the buddies. So what I want to do right now is I want to end with another song. And this is the second version of the song 
that you just listened to humor hope heart hugs and a whole lot of love we are the ones make it a great day guys together we are stronger than sadness together we are stronger than cancer together we are stronger Change the world with our hearts. We are one. We are love. We are hope. We are the ones to change the world with our hearts. Human hope, hearts, hearts, love, love, love. Human hope. Hearts, hearts, love, love, love. Human hope, hearts, hearts, love, love, love. Human hope, hearts, hearts, love. We are one. We are love. We are hope. We are the ones to change the world with our hearts. We are one. We are love, we are hope, we are the ones to change the world with our hearts. We are the ones to change the world with our hearts.